Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to install XAMPP on Windows. We're going to be using XAMPP 1.8. Uh, go ahead and download the installer. It's 91 megs. Uh, the link will be in the description box. So just go ahead and download that. Once it's downloaded, it's here on my desktop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double click it. It's going to come up with a run, a run prompt. Just click run. Uh, I want to install it in English. Click OK. It says here, the user account control is deactivated on your system which is recommended. Now if it does not say that, I do recommend that you go and do it. So type in uh, UAC in your search box here. You see, and then go into change accounts, change user account control settings over here. And now usually it is up here on default. I recommend putting it all the way down just for when you're coding. It's just a lot easier. Now click OK and you hear the setup box. So just click next. We want to install it in the normal default folder. So click next. Uh, here under server section you want to install all three of these basically Apache is your web server so it will be running all the scripts that you're using MySQL is running all your databases and FileZilla is your FTP to transfer and download well to upload and download rather all your files between your websites and your computer so just go ahead and click install so while we're waiting I'm just going to pause the video Okay, so now Zamp is finished installing. We're just going to go ahead and click finish. It will come up with a bunch of command prompts here. Basically, it's just making sure all the ports are be, it's able to acce access all the ports. Um, and it's starting all the services. Okay, so now it says uh, the, the service installation is done. And it says that it's successful as well. So just click yes to start the control panel. Uh, choose your language obviously I'm gonna go there click OK and it will come up here with all the ports as you can see uh, MySQL is running FileZilla is running but Apache is not running so go ahead and click start here now what may happen is uh, if you can see here port 80 is already in used and um, basically Apache uses port 80 and port 443 so to fix this issue we're going to go into the config into the top config http.conf and it's going to bring up this uh, so here where it says listen 80 just go ahead and make that listen 81 and carry on scrolling down until you see the server name localhost 80 then change that to server name localhost 81 as well save that and exit it Okay, then start this again and then it's running fine now if we go into our Firefox whatever just go ahead and close that if we type in localhost here it's still gonna come up with uh, it cannot uh, make a connection that's because Apache is not running on port 80 anymore it's running on port 81 so we need to tell it that so here by localhost put colon 81 and it will go into ZAMP so now if you just click English we at the ZAMP uh, main screen. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Check out for more.